often regarded as one of the truly great unrequited love stories, Brief Encounters from 1945 was the last of four films upon which David Lean and Noel Coward collaborated. Now, Coward was perhaps the very first Britpop star, being an actor, writer of 140 plays, novelist, director, songwriter, producer, singer, and all-round wit. At the peak of his fame, his every affectation was slavishly copied by even the most straight-laced of English manhood. Thus, the plethora of young men in dressing gowns with absurdly long cigarette holders calling each other darling at the drop of a bon mot, and this despite his obvious homosexuality and the drugs and sex scandal that erupted around his 1924 play, The Vortex. Rather than destroying his career, it seemed to give it an extra burst of energy. By 1930, he was the highest earning author in the world. At the dawn of the 60s, he turned down the role of Dr. No, despite his experience as a World War II undercover agent for British intelligence and his long-term friendship with neighbour Ian Fleming. The latter's brother was, coincidentally, the husband of Celia Johnson, who plays a dissatisfied wife in Brief Encounter. Her daughters now own the Bond creator's estate. Her lover was played by Trevor Howard, five years her junior, who was probably best known as Captain Bly opposite Marlon Brando as Christian in the 1960s remake of Mutiny and the Bounty. Now, the extremely broadly acted parallel romance played out in the Railway Cafe features Stanley Holloway, who will always be remembered as My Fair Lady's Alfred P. Doolittle on both stage and screen, and Joyce Carey, who was also in last week's Blythe Spirit. Lean apparently hated these cliched lower-class caricatures. I rather like them. Brief Encounters.